Technology for the future covers a lot of areas, transportation, communications, consumer electronics, and all of them make use of computers. While several of the technology-oriented participants of Expo 85 are using laser light shows and three-dimensional presentations to demonstrate our future way of life, robots are by far in the futuristic limelight. The Hujitsu Pavilion, for instance, is the world's largest and strongest humanoid robot. Standing five meters tall and weighing 25 tons, it can move its head, hands, legs, and body, and has optical sensors in its eyes. To demonstrate its versatility, it assembles a miniature of itself and later shows its strength by lifting a 200 kilogram barbell. Fujitsu also has a demonstration where electronics translate English and Japanese into three other languages. The NEC pavilion shows how mankind is adapting to computers and communications. Newspapers that are electronically edited in Tokyo are beamed to Expo via satellite to be printed on site. They have the car of the future showing how electronics will make driving more comfortable and safe. They also have multi-joint robots that can perform intricate operations faster and more accurately than human hands. National Panasonic has a presentation where a robot sees and records your image and using an easel and brush proceeds to draw your portrait. Considered by many to be done well enough to frame, this show always brings in the crowd. The Sony Corporation, famous for their TVs, has done one better. It's called Jumbotron. With screen dimensions of 25 by 40 meters, it's the world's largest television set, standing some 14 stories tall. It uses digitized video signals that are fed to the 450,000 lights through optical fiber cables. It can be viewed anywhere from 50 to 500 meters away, and computer-controlled audio gives a perfect balance of sight and sound throughout the expo grounds. Now the American Pavilion is always one to bring in spectators. With the theme artificial intelligence, they proceed to show the events that brought us from vacuum tubes through transistors to computers. Several interaction displays are available to show how the mind works and why we think the way we do. Watching computers work by voice recognition always excites the crowds, as does the robot printer, which draws a different picture independent of human intervention. Computers and robots are being used in major industries now. And if Expo 85 is any indication, it won't be long before they're found in homes also. From Expo 85 in Tsukuba, Japan, I'm Air Force Sergeant J.D. Harrington.